noise, noise, noise. Voila. What is that? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Punch. It's bleeding cinnamon butter. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, we're doing a holiday episode with some viral TikTok recipes. Are you ready? Don't forget to thumb this video. This first recipe looks like an absolute crowd pleaser. These are the easiest, crispiest mashed potatoes. First start by taking your potatoes and simmering them in salted water for about 20 minutes until they're just fork tender. Once they're soft, drain them and set aside. Then mix together salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Slice some lemon for garnish, then oil a baking sheet with olive oil and lay down your potatoes. Smash them with a flat surface until they're about a half inch thick, then add more olive oil and sprinkle on your seasoning. Roast them in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes until crispy, top with fresh herbs and a touch of lemon and enjoy. Do you guys like our headband? Woo! That's how our appetite is right now. Crazy! <laughs> okay, so let's start off by boiling our baby potatoes. I'm gonna add in salt and then boil until fork tender. Okay, potatoes are done. I'm gonna leave that aside and then work on the seasoning. So in goes salt. I'm using my pink Himalayan salt, very fancy. Black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Paprika, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to use my very specialized tool to mix it, a single chopstick. Time to oil the tray. Dump in our baby oh. patatas. Oh. You use like a, a bowl to smash it, so hopefully, hopefully they're soft enough to smash. Which one? Which one are you? Which one deserves to get smashed first? You, you, you look guilty. Move out of the way, guys. Okay. Oh. I'm tired. Okay. Smashed. Now move aside. Smush. Oh, I can't smash this. Ah! It's too slippery. Ah! Alfred. Alfred. Maybe he can use his bare hands to smash it. Not, like, not your finger. Oh my god. Like, no, maybe like you just <laughs> squish it. Because it's very slippery. Oh, oh my god, with ease. Why did you use two hands? I, I was. Okay, okay, not too much. Okay, go, keep Dude. going. Look at you go. Nice, 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 Add more olive oil and sprinkle on your seasoning. Nice, 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 nice. Have you guys watched Finding Nemo? I'm sure everyone has. Come on. Noise, 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 noise. Sprinkle on le seasoning. Loving the technique. This is the one hand chopstick technique. I've got a spotter, Zen. These babies are gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes at the 450 Fahrenheit, whatever that is in Celsius. Okay. I'm a bit worried about this one. Our smashed crispy potatoes are done. They're definitely smashed. They don't look that crispy though. They almost look burnt, but not crispy. But let's try, let's try. Kinda looks crispy. No crunch on mine. I don't know. Should we have oiled it a bit more? I feel like the potato needs to be thinner. Yeah. Like more smashed. No, it's still good, definitely. I just, I mean, it's called crispy smashed potatoes. Ours is smashed potatoes. I feel like I'm eating like elevated wedges. The flavor's really nice and it keeps you like, like look, everyone's still digging in, right? So it's a good thing. It's just, I wish it was crispy. How to make it crispy? Maybe if we air fry it. When in doubt, air fry. We'll be back and update you, see if it works. Yeah. So I air fried it for seven minutes, guys, because it was getting too much color. And the skin, I think this is the skin. It's gone, I think, I want to say crispy, but let's just do the crunch test. Is that a love heart, Zen? Close your eyes. Nice. Cheers. Mmm! Fix it. It's like chips actually. Mmm, the skin looks really good. Okay, this is has more potato bits on it. Less crunch, but still gets crunch. Seasoning is really good. Yeah, we nailed that seasoning. Now it's a double thumbs up, guys. Double thumbs up. I think if you have an air fryer, air fry it, because then you'll get that crunch. Double thumbs. We like it. We like it. We love it. Nice. Christmas would not be complete without a Christmas tree.
here's my puff pastry. I already made my mixture of cinnamon, butter, and sugar, brown sugar. Now I'm gonna paint on the mixture onto half of my pastry. Kind of just smear it around. My butter's a bit runny, so I, I feel like I'm gonna add a little bit more just of that cinnamon sugar on top. That's better. Now I'm gonna fold the pastry over and then kind of flatten it out a little bit. Just give it a couple rolls. I don't know if we have enough filling in our little pastry trees, but let's just go with it. Now I'm going to cut them into strips. we we'll grab one strip. We're gonna make mini trees. It's kind of like a, a little poo emoji. <laughs> Poop. Poop. Voila. One tree. Christmas crafts, guys. Christmas crafts. So these are gonna go in the oven for, I don't know how long. I don't know how long. For a mystery amount of time. Does everyone just know the timing? Is that why? I no one asks. have to watch it. What is that? OMG. So we kind of lost track of time because we were talking about like our shopping spree. And then I checked on our trees and they've morphed, they've evolved. They're no longer trees. They're no longer trees. <laughs> I didn't even want to show you, I'm so embarrassed. I can't. This is the best looking tree out of the bunch. It's not a tree anymore. What did we make? What is that? Is it Halloween? Because we made snakes. Even if I put a star on it, will it look like a tree? It's a very burnt tree. This is our snowman. It's turned into a musical note. Or a chicken. That one looks like a chicken. We made croissants. Oh, croissants. <laughs> you can hook something on it. Like <gasps> what is that? Oh! Oh, yes. Yeah, but it looks like snowing on snakes and chickens. What are these? Walking around the Christmas trees. We got Christmas trees. Ah. What? <laughs> what kind of Christmas tree is this? No, that's a, a snowman. snowman. <laughs> Can you tell which one's the tree? This one's supposed to be a tree. Like a, I just what? Like a snake. Yeah! <laughs> our Christmas trees, our Christmas trees, they look like evil snakes. Oh, wow. Mm. I really like that. Wow. I'm actually really yummy. Wow. These yeah. snakes are yeah. delish. They taste way better than what they look like. And for that, they don't get double thumb, they will get one thumb for taste, because... I want to give them double thumbs. I would like to too, but I would be lying to myself. They're so good though. Mm. One thumb? One thumb. Oh! My head fell off. One thumb. One thumb. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. We missed the mark on the presentation once again, but... We're not about the aesthetics, we're about the flavor. We're flavor. all about the flavor. All about the flavor. Flavor, flavor, baby. If you guys are throwing a holiday party and looking for some appetizers, check out this next recipe. Maybe this is a surprise, maybe it isn't, but I could not give Christmas the shaft, so we are doing 12 days of Christmas recipes. To start off day one, I am gonna show you how to make deviled eggs with asparagus. Start by boiling your eggs and peeling them, then cut them one third of the way down and scoop out the yolk. This can be really easy or hard. Some of them just slide out like that, others are not so easy. Throw those yolks into a food processor and add mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, or brown mustard, a pinch of salt and pepper, then blend it until it's smooth and put it into a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a Ziploc bag. Then pipe the mixture back into the egg whites and make it look all pretty. I forgot to say this earlier, but you'll cook some asparagus and put a tip of asparagus in each egg. Then generously top it with paprika and green onions. So here are my eggs. I've already boiled them. Actually, I lied. I steamed them because I YouTubed a recipe where the chef said to steam them so that it will be easy to peel. So I steamed them, put them in an ice bath, and now this is the moment of truth. Is it going to be easy to peel? We don't know. Let's, let's, let's try it. Gonna do the, the tap, 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 roll, and peel method. Oh, I think it works. Oh, that's a good piece. <gasps> nice, nice, nice. Very good. Now I just gotta peel like 10 more. A little tip from us, always just make more. 
Make more eggs because some might be destroyed. Boil more eggs. Eggs are finally peeled. Now we're gonna have to try to work around these and cut them and remove the yolk. Look how thin that side is. We've got the lunar eclipse, like the, it's a full moon, it's a half moon, what oh is this? Out of all the recipes, this one looked the most simple to do, but actually requires a lot of labor. Oh. Oh! Come out. Oh. Oh, oh man, come on. It's the holidays, just give me a break. I think I like that way better, because you're not wasting all these. I can't eat this. Yeah, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, that can go <laughs> in. I mean, it's not as pretty if you don't really care about how it's gonna look. I mean, it's still gonna look amazing. Yeah. Cut it the other way, you know? <laughs> in goes mayonnaise, about a half cup. I feel like it looked like a lot. Crack some pepper into that. Some salt. There. Blend this. It's so dry. I think we need more mayonnaise. No wonder she added so much mayonnaise. I mean, it tastes good, but it's not like full of flavor. Should we add more salt? It just needs a touch more seasoning. Yeah, we're just gonna make it ours. Typical us adding garlic powder and a little bit more salt. Don't get a piping bag. I'm using. Lot. Wait, my tip went back in. <laughs> my tip got stuck, it went back in. My little tip come back out. I mean, oh my God, this is not very pretty. Oh no. <laughs> it oozed out of the bag. This is definitely not how it's supposed to go. Oh dude, it's like coming out of the side of the bag. There's no point in the piping. What is that? <laughs> well, how do I fix this? There's so many eggs though. It's eating all this. Zen, that is. I mean, that kind of looks like a hipster Christmas tree. Oh no, it's coming out of the, <laughs> the top. What are we doing? Oh Why don't we just get a new bag? Get this bag. Do you reckon this is better quality plastic? Okay, Thank God we're actually not serving this to actual guests. Wait, you hold that bag and I'm just gonna dump it in that way. Oh my God. We'll just try it with this. Oh my God. This so is much better. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. So our eggs are filled. They are not the best looking. They're not the best looking, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't mean that they're not the tastiest. Because we're still gonna decorate. We've got like little asparagus tips. I bought the like baby asparagus, the thin ones, and they're very small. So soft. I just air fried these guys. This one's too long. Did you just bite it off? No. We're all friends here, we're family. Come on. A bit too long. I wouldn't do this if it was a random guest, guys. Just FYI, we're eating this, so. We're not animals. We don't have enough asparagus tips, so we're just gonna stick the stems in them. It looks like little straws. And then we're gonna sprinkle paprika on top. Ooh. Oh, see, there you go. It suddenly elevated the whole thing. It takes away from my wonderful piping job. So let's hit it with garlic powder. Let's do that. We are seasoning happy right now. It's Christmas! Yay! Yay! And then sprinkle on some chives. Why does that look like five-year-olds made this? Ta-da! Look how much egg filling that has, the yolk. Doing, doing. So All right, deviled eggs. Cheers. Mmm. 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 I feel like I just had very fancy boiled There's eggs. a lot of flavor. Yeah. It definitely tastes fancy. This ain't your average boiled egg, baby. This is like elevated. And if you just like look past the look, <laughs> the presentation, I think you'll be very surprised with the flavor, especially because we added a little bit more seasoning in ours. This one's a half one. It's the two thirds. Thing. I don't know if I can fit all that in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Zen can't talk because she's still trying to finish her two thirds, but that's definitely a double thumbs up from us guys. Really good appetizer. Semi easy to make. Now that you've watched us struggle, you might not make the same mistakes as us. Mom's gonna try it. <laughs> she's saying it's nice. She says it's yummy. <laughs> Mm. Thumbs up, thumbs up from my mum guys, thumbs up. Here's a holiday recipe for you sweet tooth.
four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm using cake flour because I have cake flour. I don't know if it's really gonna affect it, you know, but I Googled, it said you can totally use it. It'll just be a little bit lighter and fluffier, which doesn't sound bad at all. I Googled, 120 is a cup, 480. I don't even know if I have enough. Oh my God, that's my whole bag. Little hole. With a spoon. My finger, it is fine. Two tablespoon Maybe just to that. fit oh my god we're so bad you know like baking we have to be really precise but one two okay. <laughs> sugar so half a cup which is like a hundred grams just gonna keep scooping maybe this whole should i just dump all of this in there oh my god halfway i should have just dumped it should we cut down on the sugar we're just tweaking us buttermilk room temperature one third cup Half cup room temperature normal milk. Two eggs slightly beaten. One teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon vanilla extract. One teaspoon baking powder. Bakers out there will be mortified. I'm not a baker, I just cook with like it my sticks. intuition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> butter, we need butter melted. we add in our yeast mixture. I'm gonna mix our concoction up. Christmas I got Christmas nails. nails and they're so long, I'm not gonna use my hands. I might have to wear gloves, that's why. Got my gloves. Okay, it smells good. I smell it. Mm. I should have spread the dough out. I mean the flour out there. Okay, so I'm just gonna knead this baby. I feel like I'm making pizza. Mm, just smash it. Like let out your years worth of frustration on the dough. Yeah. So now we're gonna let this little guy grow. We're gonna wait about one or two hours. Put him in a warm spot, which is anywhere in this house right now because it's so hot. Okay, so it's been two hours since we left our dough and look, it's all grown up. It's so big. And then now, we're gonna be like a bully and like punch it down. Oh my God, that was so satisfying. That was fun. This is a lot of dough. Oh, I just wanna go like right on my face. I feel like it'd be so nice. I won't though, I won't. I've gotta split it in half. Now she rolls it out. Oh, yeah, slap that. Oh, so squishy. Then you take over. Okay, so we have our cinnamon mixture. Oh, yeah. After the butter kind of solidified and we added a bit more of everything. Okay, smear it on. Oh, there's some lumps in there of sugar. Yeah, it's like a Nutella pizza. It's okay, I could do this. I could do this. I can't do this, I can't do this. It's getting stuck. How dead you. One, two, three, flip. Oh my God, it's so runny. Do you reckon it's too runny? <laughs> can't add more sugar to like, to make it stick, you know what I mean? Oh no, oh no. It's my first time making anything like this, so. How's this saggy McSag? Look, Santa's little health is here. <laughs> oh, you're looking at mummy's trees. Hey, you're looking at mummy's. Oh, you're looking at Auntie Zed's hats. She wants to grab it. Hi. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas you are so adorable. Mummy's making cinnamon rolls. It's not turning out like how we envisioned, but that's okay. Oh, it's so flat. I, d I don't know, darling. I don't know. Okay, we better get on with it. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Back to the North Pole. Oh my God, this is such a disaster. Thank God we're not actually throwing a Christmas party right now. Okay, so I have like a piece of floss here, dental floss, and I think that, I don't know. I feel like I've seen this in like a hack somewhere. It's so soft. Pull it really hard. Yes. Yes, but yes. that looks like poop. This is our cinnamon roll, everybody. <gasps> oh, my oh my gosh. God. It's bleeding cinnamon butter. We're gonna make it work, it's fine. Oh my god, it's so soft. This is a disaster. I don't even know how thick I'm cutting it. Oh. It's gonna go fast. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. 
I'm telling you, I'm not meant to be like a baker. We're not cut out for this. <laughs> what is this? I don't even know what we're making. Um, yeah. Afro, do you want to come look at it? I didn't even want him to look yeah. at this. Oh my gosh. I know. It's so soft. It is what it is, guys. Spirit. This is the vibe for the whole video. It is what it is. Wow. Expectation versus reality. We transferred it into a smaller tin in hopes that when we cook it, it will look better. So what happens when you don't follow the recipe to the tea? And we're just like, la, la, la. Don't be like us. Use measuring cups and spoons and whatnot. Do try this at home, but don't follow our footsteps. How long do you put it? Forever. Let's never take it out. Guys, I feel like our cinnamon rolls had a glow up. Like, you know when you make a mistake and you just patch it up with some icing sugar? That kind of did the trick for us. Yeah. Yeah? It looks legit. It looks alright. But how does it taste? That is the ultimate question. Ooh! Hey, that Ooh. feels pretty legit. <laughs> ah, yeah! Icing sugar went up my nose. How? Wh where were how? you? But you're the furthest from the sugar! <laughs> how did you sniff the icing sugar? I mean, when we pull it out, it doesn't look that pretty. Normally, you would do like the icing sugar. What's it, icing? What is it? The icing. Let's just take a bite, guys. Mm. Guys, it's, it's actually good. It's really actually good. good. It's actually really good, considering we made this one from scratch. You made the dough from scratch? Yeah. Mm. Where's the dough from scratch? Wow. Wow. Okay, this is the best one that we've made. It was all going downhill, down, down, way downhill, and then it rose back to the top. Wow. 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 Yes. Mmm. Yes. Thumbs up. I will thumbs up. This is actually so good. I'm actually really surprised. The dough, like once it's cooked, it's actually like really fluffy and then it's got all these layers because we rolled it and then you know it's got the cinnamon do you reckon it's because we use cake flour maybe maybe that's why it's a bit more fluffy i don't know but i like it mm. i really like it wow 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 well i'm glad we ended on a high note because i was really worried about that recipe thank god everything turned out so Happy holidays, guys! We are so tired and pooped from that. It was like an emotional roller coaster, this video. So, we're filming another video after this, and we're gonna get drunk on Christmas cocktails. So, if you wanna see that, make sure you check it out. Subscribe if you guys are new here, and we shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Have a again. I didn't get your ears because you're so tall, like, you're already like almost out of the frame. Because I wanted to say $4.50. That's just a left out. I'm not even wearing anything green either. Well, you, you missed <laughs> that memo. You the memo. This was coincidental. Yeah, I didn't tell them. Green Look, we're going to get drunk. You can still... It's you not change. too late. It's not too late. Change. You can wear shirtless. red. You can, you're going to be shirtless. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Oh, God. Holiday. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho. <laughs> <laughs> Do 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 do